beatboxing is like it's an art to me and um i can't can't sing can't dance i sure as hell can't draw so like i just express myself through making weird funny noises with my mouth and it all started like i don't know 10th grade i heard rozelle the legend himself uh singing beatbox at the same time <laughs> Completely blew my, blew my mind. Um, ever since then, I just like be messing around the hallway, just like like simple shit like that, and then uh, it kind of progressed into something much more. I don't know. I just like I do it in my sleep. I do it at work. Any I do it everywhere while I'm driving, and uh, it helps me express who I am as an artist. Most people, you ask them like, oh, you know, you know what beatboxing is, be like, yeah, it's Bismarcky, right? But like, I feel like it's changed over the years. How has the change in music influenced beatboxing? It, it definitely has changed over the years because like, there's a lot more uh, EDM music coming around. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I love hip hop as much as the next guy, but I kind of appeal to what people want to hear. <laughs> like, yes, you got the. You got the hip hop beat. But when you incorporate dubstep into that, it brings a whole mass of people that never really heard of it. They heard of it, but they just think it's noise. But when I do it, I kind of like bring more attention to it. <laughs> Like something like that you wouldn't hear in like a standard hip hop beat. But so it, yeah, so and it's cool because you go back and forth between you can you can start with you know scratching. <laughs> You know, some simple drum beats, and then you'll go right into the dubstep. On their toes like they're not gonna like they're on the edge of their seat like they don't know what they're gonna hear next like they always love to drop right at the end <laughs> 